Hey everyone, it's Brian the Squirrel Lover, and I'm sorry if I'm really talking really quiet right now. I get like really strange when I start filming, um, and I get like really quiet, so uh, sorry about that. I'll try and speak up. Um, so today I'm going to show you my Briarfest 2017 haul slash loot, whatever you want to call it. Um, so yeah, let's just get started with the horses. So this is the first horse, and I'm sorry about like the really horrible lighting. I decided it was a little dark, so I just turned on a l my uh, camera's light. Uh, I don't know if it's really better, but I guess it, it'll work. So this is the Celebration Heart horse. This is a uh, Nasrudin. I think that's how you pronounce it. Um. Everyone with a three day ticket got one of him, and I actually had two. I was given one by a friend, and she wasn't able to sell it, so she gave it to me, and I took it home and gave it to one of my friends who also collects buyers, but she was not able to attend this year, so I got her one. This is one of the single day stable mates that I got, I think. This one is Anya, and uh, she's really cute. I really like that Briar made her into a Pintaloosa, like the Weather Girl Rainbow. Um, I really like that they did that. And they were out of the one, well, she was one that I wanted. I had two tickets. Well, my mom had two of those, so I got two, and yeah, they were out of one I wanted, so I got her instead. I'm really glad I actually did. Uh, and then the next one I got was Mishti. I think that was the name. I really can't remember. Um, she is a glossy paint cross thoroughbred, uh, I guess. Um, she's actually really cute. I really liked her. Uh, and I've always kind of liked the Sailor Mate mold. So I'm glad I got her. On the first day of Briarfest, um, so Friday, I went shopping. Um, I didn't get much that day. Uh, actually, I did get a lot, never mind. Um, but I got Bella, and Bella is the 2017 Horse of the Year. Um, she's actually really pretty, and I actually always really wanted this mold. I this horse to be specific uh, I was eyeing her for a while and I never got the chance to get her so I just decided to pick her up she was really cheap she was only $20 um yeah I really like her coloring I like her mold and she kind of has like this metallic sheen to her and I really like that next up is my first special run and my first special run was Kali and uh Ever since she came out on the Yas as Yasmin for the Premier Club, um, I always wanted her, or specifically this mold, and um, I'm really glad I was able to get her because uh, my special run was on Saturday and I had the youth show that day, but I was able to finish early, um, and I was just scared they weren't going to have her because they pulled number 177 and my number was 101, so I was all the way towards the back. Um, but I was actually really, I was actually lucky enough to get her, um, I got one of the last ones, they were almost sold out, and I'm really glad I got her. The next one is my surprise model, and I got the paint matte version, my friend got a glossy version of him, um, but I got the matte version, and I was not expecting him to turn out so pretty. At first, I didn't really like him all that much, and then I grew to like him over the next few hours because I really like his patterns. He reminds me of the Cal Surprise I got, and I really like that one, so when I realized that he's kind of like him, I started to like him a lot, and then I really liked his roan spots here. Um, it's not Doss, don't worry. It's roaning, kind of. Kind of like a roan spotty thing um and he's actually really pretty um the next horse i got was the store special repeat the beat um 
he was a limited quantity of some number. Um, I was able to get him. Uh, he is, well, the horse is a boy, but Briar put him on a mare mold. So I don't know if I should really call it a he or a she. I'm just going to go by the mold and call it a she. So she's actually really, really pretty. Um, I haven't really looked at her in the light like this in, in person. Her, I know it doesn't exactly pick it up on the camera, but her coat is so, like, blue. It's, like, not even a blue roan. It's so blue, but it's so gorgeous. Um, and I really like her knee markings and her tail has some really nice fading and she's just really pretty. The next horse I got, um, I technically did not get her at Briar Fest, but she arrived in the mail the few days I was leaving, the few days before I was leaving, um, so I was hoping she would get here in time and she ended up coming in time and I was able to show her and add her into my show string. Um, but this is the North Pole Playset Philly. Um, I think there were two sets. One was on this mold, and then the other was on the Stormy Chantatigue Foal mold. Uh, and I got her off of eBay for a really cheap price. She was only $18. Um, and she's one of my holy grails. Uh, I'm really glad I was able to get her. She has a really nice, like, coppery brown pinto marking markings, and they're really, really nice, and I'm really glad I was able to get her. Um, the other horse I got, this guy, I guess he's technically a donkey, um, this guy I got at the Clarion on Thursday night, um, he was only $20, and I couldn't pass him up, and I've always wanted a model on the donkey mold so I was able to get him um this is Hickory Hills Wall Street and I'm so glad I did because I love him to pieces <laughs> he's so cute and his ears are too adorable I love it um I'm really glad I was able to pick him up I kind of have to do this one fast he's really tippy um on like not hardwood surfaces but this is Starlight. Um, he is a horse or model from the Saddle Club show. I used to watch that when I was younger. Oh, there goes. There he goes. I'm gonna stand him up. I'm just gonna hold him. Um, he's really nice. He's a Morgan. I was able to pick him up in the Clarion for $25. LSQ condition. Uh, he looks really good, and I can't wait to start showing him. The next model I got was Fantasia Del C. Um, she's really nice. Uh, I really wanted her ever since she came out, but of course you can't have Fantasia Del C without Gazoza. So Gazoza came with her, and he's super cute. Uh, I love him. He's really adorable. Um, I'm really glad I was able to pick these guys up, although she was a little bit overpriced, but I probably wouldn't be able to find her anywhere cheaper. Um, because I went around the entire covered arena and all of her prices were way higher than what I got her for. Um, so, yeah. The next horse I got was Fabian, and Fabian is a web special from 2015. Um, he's a limit of quantity. I don't know how much. I haven't looked it up yet. Um, oh, he's about to fall. <laughs> His, uh, stand broke off during shipping the lady told me when he was on his way here um his stand ended up breaking off but that's okay he isn't going to be show model anyway uh he's not lsq condition that happened that was partly my fault uh because he was not the best wrapped i was rushing to get my models all wrapped in time to leave so that's partly my fault um but those should be able to be taken care of but I'm really glad I got him because he's definitely gorgeous the next source I got was this gorgeous red roan um, on the bluegrass bandit mold I got her at the swap meet for $80 um, she's one of a kind 
and I'm so glad I got her because she's absolutely stunning. Next is the Peter Stones that I got. Um, so I didn't get this guy at Briarfest, like the North Pole place at Philly. He actually ended up coming in the mail along with her. Um, I got him for $30 off of eBay and he is from the Peter Stone Pebbles series, so he's not very big. He, this is my index finger next to him, so he's not very large, um, but that's okay. He's really cute. He was made in 2004. He's a decorator. Um, his name is Star of Wonder, from what I know. Um, I'm not sure how many were made of him. I don't think it was a lot, um, but yeah, um, if you know how many were made of this guy, please let me know. Okay. The next horse I ended up getting was this Peter Stone. Um, she, I got her at the Covered Arena for $60. Um, her name is Venus, and I decided to look her up on the Peter Stone reference website, and I found information about her. She was a special run, I think, of some sort, along with four other variations of her. Uh, she's a run of 150, uh, and that's all I really know about her, but she's really cute, and I love her blaze. I don't know why, just when I saw her face, it was so adorable, I couldn't pass her up. The final model that I got was this Peter Stone and he is my everything. I prize this model. He was a live show prize at one point, and there were only 50 of him made, um, and I am so glad I was able to get him. He cost $65, which was a really nice price for what he is how many were made of him. I'm really glad I got him, and he's dedicated to my mom. Um, he was the final horse I got, and I did not have enough money to buy him, but my mom ended up giving me the money, uh, and I dedicate this model to her. Um, she is also my everything, and so I thought I'd just combine the two, so this is him. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed my haul from Briarfest 2017. And just a note before I go, this was not meant to like say I was bragging and I'm spoiled because I'm not. Uh, I'm definitely not. Uh, I'm grateful for all the models like it. And I know some aren't as lucky as others. and. I'm glad that I was able to get what I could. Could. I know I said could. Could. Um, so, yeah. Anyways, thank you for all. Uh, thank you for watching, and thank all of you guys, um, because we are very close to 300 subscribers, and that is absolutely amazing. I never thought I would make it this far. Uh, so... Yeah, don't forget to audition for my new mini-series, um, and I will see you guys later. The casting call is on my channel. I'll see you guys later. Alright. Burn bright. Bye.